Alrighty guys, so I'm going to be real with you. I just tried to do a quick five minute video before on how to do this and I was working on it for about an hour just to realize that I was on the wrong account. So here we try, here, so here we go again. Um, so welcome to another tutorial. My name is obviously Wario Spug and today we're going to be doing a custom request here. Uh, this is from Bro Moment, which is how do you script a script that makes the player spawn with a tool from the server storage if it is a certain rank in the group and also detects that the player has the tool but the duplicate version. The duplicate version gets deleted. Please respond to this when you make it. And of course I respond, I'll make it when I can. So here we go. All right. Oh, th we're still here. Okay, we don't want that. This is my testing place and I didn't want that want uh want that uh UI quite yet. So he wants us to make a tool. So we're going to find our good old mighty trench gun. Okay, we're going to put that inside of our server storage. Okay, so put the tool inside of server storage. Alrighty, that's all you got to do. Please ignore this stuff. You don't need to worry about it. Just put your tool in server storage. Going to insert object script. Okay, we're going to put a script inside of server script service. Okay, by the way, if I'm louder than most videos, it's because I just changed my input on my microphone so that people can actually hear and my, hear me in my videos. So if I'm being too loud, I'm sorry about that. All right, so the very first thing that we need to do is that we need to run this script whenever somebody dies and whenever somebody joins in the game. So to do that, we just say game dot players dot player added connect function player. Ta da! So what this basically does is that this script will only run when a player is added to the game. Now, if you wanted to have it whenever, if you want to check it whenever somebody dies, you would say, no, 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 you wouldn't say that. You would say player dot character added connect function character. So now this checks when anybody dies. Now, let's just do a script that says, hey, I'm going to take my gun and we're just going to put it inside of our backpack. Okay, so we're just going to do that part. So I'm going to say local uh, tool, I'll call it, or I'm sorry, first we'll do local server storage is equal to game dot server, uh, I guess game get service server storage local gun is equal to game dot server storage dot trench gun, which I'll rename this to tool because technically you could do this with any tool. Just make sure you change this to the tool that you want. Okay. Now next, we're going to say local cloned tool is equal to tool clone. So we're basically making a copy of this tool. And now it's going to ask where do you want to put this tool? Well, we're going to put this inside of the player's backpack. And now that should do it. All right, so now this acts as like a starter pack. All right, so now when I play the game, it's going to give me a tool, even though it's not inside of the starter pack. And here we go. Bam, bam, bam. You know, I have my trench gun. All right, and just ignore the UI. I'm working on a suitcase for DS service. Oh, yeah, exit out of the script. All right, so now we need to make it so that let's go ahead and let's do a... Uh, let's go ahead and let's make a script that checks to see what someone's rank is in a group. So let's say we only want to give this tool to an owner. We would say if player get rank in group inside of here would go the group ID is equal equal to 255 because that's the rank of the owner. And let me go ahead and actually go over that with you guys. All right. So let me go into my Odyssey apparel here. Okay. So inside of each role, there's a rank, 253, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that's just how I, how I worked it out. So what you're able to say is that since this is an integer value, let's say that we wanted only board of directors and higher to get a tool. Well, you would say, oh no, that's not it. Instead of saying equals equals 255, you would just say greater than or equal to 253. So any rank that's between 253 and 255 would get this tool. But for now, let's just focus on 255. All right. And for example, like if you were saying, oh, you're running a cafe and you want to give, um, you know, your special people that are like approved in your group a tool, you would say greater than or equal to like two. All right. And whoever and whoever uh, is greater than or equal to two will get this tool. And let's say you don't want the workers to... Um, Let's say, all right, so you know what? Let's say if you're a premium customer, you're a VIP, and you're, you know, I don't know, something else. All right, so if you wanted to give it to, um, you know, in between somewhere, 
you would say in between, so if player get rank and group group ID is greater than or equal to two and player get rank in group group ID is less than or equal to five. So let's say you want to give someone a golden stake, but if they're a worker, they don't get a golden state. Only premium customers, VIP, and like, oh, godly person. All right, and so you would kind of format it like this because you're picking in all the numbers between two, three, four, and five. All right, so all of these ranks would get that tool. But for now, we're just going to make it so that someone who is someone who is the owner of the group. And now you're probably wondering, what is the group ID? Well, your group ID, let me go back to my groups page, and let me go to, to my Odyssey apparel, is going to be this digit number up here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to put it where group ID is. All right. And so now it will give me a tool. It will only give me a tool if I'm the owner of this group. Let's go ahead and let's take a look. And as you can see, I am the owner of this group. Now, let's say for whatever reason, you only want the co-owner to get this item. You would just change this to 254 and the owner won't get it, but the co-owner will. Let's see if I get a trench gun. And... I don't get a trench gun because I'm not the co-owner, but I am, in fact, the owner of the group. All right, so I'm going to keep this at 255. Now, the very last thing that you want to do is that you want to check for duplicates. All right, that was part of the prompt here. Let me pull it up one more time. All right, if there's a duplicate, delete it. Delete the duplicated version. So here we have our trench gun. Now, we do what we did in the previous video when we said for IV in pairs, uh, player.backpack get children do and now you would say if v is a tool and v dot name equals equals trench gun then v destroy all right and then we do it again for i v in pairs character get children so this checks to see if anybody has their gun equipped if v is a tool and v.name equals equals trench gun, then v destroy. All right, and just mind you that inside of these quotation marks, it's the exact name of your weapon. All right, and you could do this a different name, a different way too if you have multiple tools, but I won't get too far into that as of right now. So basically, what this does is that if the weapon is, if the weapon that we're going to give you is in your, um, is inside of your inventory, delete it. Or I'm sorry, yes, if it's inside of your inventory, delete it. If you have it equipped, delete it. Clone the tool into your backpack. So now here comes the true test. I'm gonna put three different trench guns inside of here, all right? And hypothetically, I should have one, two, three, and four. But since we added this duplicate script, there, it should only give me one. Let's go ahead and let's take a look. And as you can see, it only gives me one despite me putting three trench guns in my starter pack. And let's go ahead and see what happens when I delete this script. It should now give me four. Let's go ahead and let's take a look. And as you can see, it gives me four. Yeah. Can I kill you? It's not going to let me kill you, is it? Oh. But anyway, now it gives me four. So now if you don't want duplicates... You would just smack this script on in there and it will work 100% of the time and that is how you do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in another tutorial. Bye-bye.